It says, now notice in verse 18, the eyes of your understanding. Now, that's not your physical eyes. That's the eyes of your spirit, your eyes of your soul, you could even say, where you are understanding. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Why? So that you may know what is the hope of his calling. And we could say, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? So he has an inheritance in the saints that is glorious, that he wants to pull out of us, that, and that has to do with the hope of his calling. Okay? Now, verse 19. And to know what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe. Now, just, just think about that. The exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe. So that word power there is not a normal word. It's an it's a unusual word, actually. It's kratos. And it actually has to do with an overwhelming force that cannot be resisted and will break through anything. Okay, let me give you the word picture here. It would be the same picture if you saw, let's say you're standing aside and you see a house on fire and you hear children screaming in the upper floor out the window and the house is engulfed in flames and you see a mother at the front door trying to get in to her children. She's going to get in. What? That force in her, all right? That's the word picture here. That, in other words, God is seeing you and, his, and he wants to get to you and he will get to you and he will use whatever force is necessary. Do you get that? To get to you and to get this knowledge to you of himself. That's the power that he has released toward us. Now watch, because he goes on. And he says, what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power? And notice he says that even twice. He says he's talking about the power that he's going to use. So let me tell you, whatever the devil's trying to do, whatever he's trying to keep from you, whatever truth he's trying to keep you from, God's power is going to bust through that thing. And it's going, he is going to bring that to you. Why? Because it is the Holy Spirit's job to bring that knowledge to you. Do you get that? Now, here's the thing. You have to decide when that knowledge comes, you're going to receive it because you can reject knowledge. If you go back and look, when it says, uh, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, it's not that they didn't have the knowledge. It says, because you have rejected knowledge. So the knowledge was, was there, right? It was available. But now notice, the knowledge that you're destroyed for not having is not knowledge that you don't have it is knowledge that was brought to you, and you rejected it. So God's power is, he is going to use whatever degree of power is necessary to get the truth to you. Why? Because that's the Holy Spirit's job, is to guide you into all truth. Once you get to all truth, once that, in other words, once that, that knowledge comes to you, now it's on you. The Holy Spirit says, here's the knowledge. Now, what are you going to do with it? And you have to say, I receive it. Now, what does word receive mean? Remember we talked about this? The Greek word lambano? It means what? To take as one's own and make it your own. And it's not just a holding your hands out. It is, it's putting your hands, you grab hold of it, and you take it. And that's what uh, the word uh, was referring to when he said that the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent take it by force. Do you get that? You're not ripping it out of God's hands. It's not, it doesn't mean that God's holding back and you're, you're going to get it from him. No, he's passing it to you, and you're taking it, and you're making it yours, and there ain't no devil in hell big enough to get it out of your hands once you have decided to receive it. You got that? That's the power that God is using to get this knowledge to you. But you have to take it and decide, yes, I am going to walk in this truth. People are destroyed because of truth they're not walking in. If you walked in the truth, you would not ever be destroyed. Does that make sense? 